Hey, got a craft by Kim. How's everybody this evening? Not showing my face this night. <laughs> I'm not showing it. We're just going to get started. Hope everybody's weekend's been wonderful. And I am making sure my phone is off. That's why you guys always see me with my phone when I be starting my lives because I want to make sure everything is off. There we go. Good evening, good evening. Yep. How many people were out this weekend? Maybe down the shore? Maybe on vacation? Or maybe just watching football? Well, my D team won. That's all I'm going to say. The D team won today. For those of you who don't like the D team. But uh, they won today. So, uh, let me get organized here. I was just sitting down here relaxing. As usual, that's what I do when I come down here. I do not own the rights to that music, if you can hear it. So, let's get started here. I have... Uh, I just decided to do a, a breast cancer awareness cross. And I'm hoping my sign fits pretty good on here with the petals. If not, I have some ribbon. I want your opinion. Ribbon or the sign. Let me show you some ribbon. So, here's some ribbon. Let's come in just a little bit. It's just a, some breast cancer ribbon. It has hope on it. And brave, hope, strong, faith. So I don't know if I'm going to use the ribbon in the middle or the sign in the middle. But towards the end, maybe you guys can comment and let me know what you think. All right, I'll put the sign there and uh, we'll see how that works out. All right, so we're going to get... So I'm using a, a pointed petal. Let's move this out the way. It's done basically the same. I, remember I always told you guys that most of the petals start out the same way. But this one is called the pointed petal. And it's really, really easy to do. Alright, so I did save three pieces. Hopefully I don't have to cut any more. Y'all know sometimes I miscount. Okay. So I have a poly burlap. And that is a unique in the creek cross. If you don't have one, then they are dollar store cross as well. Let me show you what it looks like. And it could be done the same. Let me come back out. There we go. All right, you can pick us oh, a dollar and a quarter now. But they have crosses as well, and you can do it exactly the same way. And it doesn't have to be poly burlap. It could be regular deco mesh. All right, so let's do this pointed petal really quick. I have three pieces left to do, so I'll show you three times. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we have curl up. And it doesn't look too curly, right? Because what I did was I laid a piece of wood on it and make them a little flat overnight. So that's what that's why it's not as curly. But you can see it's curling up a little bit. So we have our factory edges left and right. And we're going to turn it to the right. We're going to have one factory edge up top. <clears throat> Excuse me, one factory edge down the bottom. I got up my flu shot today, y'all, so I'm a little mucusy. <clears throat> That's what it does to me. And guess what? <laughs> the pharmacist came in, well, you're going to get the senior flu shot today. I was like, See oh, my God, yes, I am a senior. Okay. Just a little joke, y'all. Fun, fun, fun. All right. So we're going to put it in a diamond shape. We're going to take the bottom peak and meet the top peak. And y'all know how I do. Let me bring this back in here, guys. All right. Once I 
get my peaks together basically even not perfect I always slide my hand down and try to make them peaks at the bottom then I flatten it out y'all know I call it ironing and I kind of stretch it over if it's not a perfect piece remember poly burlap gives and it's not perfect but we're going to iron all right and then we're just going to scrunch it straight up the middle to that peak if you have a board with lines on it whether it's this size or smaller you have a line you can follow straight up the middle and you're just going to scrunch it straight up the middle all right and then you're going to point them down take it to the left all right make sure the ends peaking about even and then we're going to grab a little nub at the bottom and we're going to put my little rubber band around it of course it popped away from me really easy pedal to do guys make sure you have all of it inside and don't worry about the phrase because that's going in under the zip tie and that's it and I, of course y'all know I flatten it and that's your pointed pedal all right let's do it again factory edges left and right turn it into a diamond shape bring the top peak down to the bottom peak is that what I did y'all I think I did the top to the the top the bottom to the top now let me clarify you could do it either way but make sure you do it the same way throughout your pedal making you can do it the same way but make sure you could do it either way but make sure all your pedals are done the same way all right peak to peak because you want to make sure your factory edges are all facing the same way okay put my your peak on a, a line and scrunch up let's say that again you could do it either way but make sure all of them are done the same way all right looks like angel wings right bring them together turn them to my left my braces are left make sure your peaks are about even if not just grab a little bit more and close them up or stretch it out grab a little nub and guess what I'm gonna do this last piece the opposite way so you can see that it's exactly the same guys all right and then I'm gonna push down like I always do like ironing that's what I do all right so I started the other two I did bottom peak to the top let's, let's show you top peak to the bottom all right I'm going to switch it because I'm going I need this piece all right we're going to do it the same way scrunch it straight up the middle all right and then this way we're going to go up instead of down same thing okay same exact pedal but now instead of my factory edge being on the left it's the opposite way okay so let's go back it's on the opposite side it's upside down or underneath so let's go back and do it the original way so all my pedals can be the same direction peak on the middle of the line and scrunch right up that line all right here we go and guess what I have two tones of pink I have a light and a dark and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference I, I can see the difference and you can see I'm smashing it down y'all right don't worry about those frays I'm just going to cut it off even though I um, would burn them they still fray 
just remember you to spray something that's going to hold it so it won't continuously fray. But remember, once you start, uh-oh, once you start, stop messing with the, the burlap or the deco mesh, it'll stop. All right, guys. So remember I was telling you I used E6000 to spray my reeds after they're done? This is what it looks like in a spray bottle, E6000. Everybody knows it's glue. They're used to the tubes. But this is a liquid spray. So I spray them on all my reeds once I'm finished so they can come stop for them. All right? And I get it from uh, Amazon. Yep. So it'll hold its shape. All right, let's get the cross, and I'm alternating, preloading my zip ties. That means fastening them. Preloading means fastening. And I have two more rows to do. You see how I have it marked? Y'all know I always mark my uh, boards so I know where all my things go, all my pedals go. So here is DD, you maybe can't decipher it, L, dark, dark, light, okay? But I'm going to... I saved two rows for you guys to see. I'm going to preload that one. I forgot to fasten that one. All right, so we got two lights here, LL. So we're just going to go under the bottom and put our zip tie in. So it's two here. And then I have one dark. That's the D. All right, then we're going to preload. That means fastening them, but leaving enough space for your nub of your pedal to go under. All right, so let's get started here. This shouldn't take long at all. I, everything's done. All of the pedals are done. I'm going to show I have a box of them, look, guys. They're all completed. I just wanted to show you guys how the pedal was done. Remember, it's the pointed pedal, okay? And it's in the description. So let's get started. So I did one uh, light. That was supposed to be light, y'all. All right? That is light. Let's go to dark. Let me see if we can tell the difference in the two. Can you see the difference a little bit? Yeah, one is lighter than the other. Yep, this is the light one and this is the darker one. They're very close, but one is light and one is darker. Once they get on top of each other and throughout the cross, you'll be able to uh, decipher the difference. So we're just going to take the nub and go underneath. And I only have one there and two. And I did skip a row, that first row, because the, the pedal is long. Okay. So that was dark. I'm going to have to put the two together. They are separated in the box, but you know. All right, dark. Y'all know. They're so close together. And you want to put the nub under it right up to the next row and pull your zip tie. Alright, I'm going to try to use my gun tonight, y'all, to see if we can get it off. Alright, we're doing alright now. So everybody have a great Sunday, I hope. So we're going one light in the middle. And remember, placement is everything. I will be separating the pedal, you know, pulling it out, making sure all of them are seen. I see a little thin piece of material there. All right. Hey, Pat, how are you? How's everybody this evening? Shouldn't be too long. I know you guys love football. <laughs> so that was light. So let's go too dark.
Yeah, so I didn't do much. Not too much today. Just had to, you know, feed and walk the pups. Can you see how it's building? That's why I did every other. It doesn't necessarily have to be two on each one. See how it's, the thickness is coming along? There you go. This pointed petals is really pretty. Yep. So back to the grind tomorrow, everybody, right? Hey, Devon, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So now we're going to do a light. Y'all see I have it marked. And make sure it's in the center. Because y'all know I have a tendency to pull to the left or right. And make it off center. But that's me. So I try to remember. So we need two dark. It's so simple. I mean, the boards are really simple. Sometimes the pedal can take a minute to get it. All right, I'm getting hot now. I had my AC on, but I turned it up so I wouldn't freeze down here in the basement because it gets so cold. Excuse me. So that was dark, and I have light. And it's not too, once you ever have all your petals done, it, it doesn't take long. Yep. So now, we're going to go to the opposite side. Uh-oh. And the petals on the opposite side go up. They do not go the same way as the bottom one, okay? The short end goes up. So I have a light. So that's the first one. And I skip row one. All right? Because you see it's going to be covered. So now I have two dark. Remember, and placement is everything, guys. Placing these, whether it's the, the cross, the round board, it's dark, yep. I always say placement, placement is everything when you're doing any reef. Well, so now we have a light and we have two corners. Is that light? Yep. These corners here, that's going to make it really full. All right. So of course I'll be doing some more placement. All right, now we have the, the cross part. So we have a dark here. Everybody see how that's coming along? So let's do a dark. I have another idea for a reef that I'm thinking about doing. I've cut, I think it's a point set I'm gonna do. I cut all red, guys. Poly burlap. So, I haven't decided on which pedal to use, so that's why I, I don't know. If, it might be the pointed pedal because of, uh, poinsettias are pointed, right? So, let's give it a whirl. Be sometime this week. 
I have like 40 petal, 40 10 by 10s already cut for it. It's just putting the petal together. Now I don't know. Let's do this last dark. About these two. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put one in, on each corner. That's just the way the board is made. Sometimes you don't have to fill it. Give me a second, guys. I can't twist this around, so I'm going to have to use my pull and my cut. I don't want to mess up my petals. That's so vain, isn't it? So let's do a light here. Yeah, I think I'm I have to I'm gonna use that. I have to use it. Okay. See how I had to use that corner to fill it in right here. Yeah, so we had to use that. Alright, so we're doing lights there. See I have it all marked, all my red markings. Just to make sure it's good. So we got a light, and then we're going to do. I don't think I really need those centers, but I'm going to put them there because I don't like to uh, skip. I like it to be full. And you see, I have a two D's, and I have an arrow. I don't know if you can see. The way the pedal is supposed to go, I have a D and a, a arrow and a D here going that way. So you're just figuring it out. Now, so I'm not sure how the sign is going to look, but I'm I have it ready. All right, let's turn it around. Now I'm thinking if you can see the contrast in the two colors. Yeah. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna go on the other side. And we have a D at the bottom. I'm, let me say dark instead of D. <laughs> That sounds funny, right? Hey, Miss Virginia. Hope your weekend's been great. Yeah. So I have two lights. Let's turn my wood burning tool on. But I think I have enough cut. But you know, you never know with me, I might have one or two that's not, that I didn't cut, but yeah, so don't forget, um, my YouTube page guys. Just go over there and just subscribe and like. All the videos are over there. Oh, uh, most of them are over here, shall I say now. I had a, well, all of them are definitely in the group. I had a USB upset. That's dark, yeah. I have a USB that corrupted, so I lost some of my videos. But they all in the group, so I just have to take my time and scroll through the group. Most of them are on my YouTube channel, and it is Kim Beatty. All right. So we're gonna do this light, light, and hey, sunshine, I see you. All right, light here. 
this cross it really became full didn't it those little one or two petals don't do it no no justice does it real oh yeah the contrast is really pretty I'm looking at it over here yes yes And I have one more dark. Look, I have extra petals. That's unusual for me, right, y'all? Fit right in there. Just make sure it's in the center. How are you somewhere far away and watching me, girl? I'm teasing. So there this is. How about that? Wow. Pretty darn nice, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see how this, I got it prepped. Let's see how what this sign is going to look like. I have it glued with my uh, cable ties on the back. I already did all of that. And some of my other videos have that on here. So let's see what that looks like there. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Maybe I can bring it down some. And over. I'm looking at two different windows of the mat of the reef. I just want to make sure it's centered so I can see it. Not that way, maybe over that way a little bit. But centered here. So what I'm gonna do, let me know what you think. How do you think the sign looks on it? Guys, yay, nay, I like the sign. But I don't want to take away from this reef here. All right. Or let's do a bow too. And then I'll take pictures of both. And then you guys can let me know in the group what you think. I like the sign. I really, really do. But let's do a bow too, and then we'll put it in the center and we can compare the two. It won't take long to do a bow. But that's a pretty contrast. It really is. All right, let's put this aside. And let's get out our bow maker. And let's do a bow. All right. So I have that. This is the rest of my ribbon right here in my face. And I have that one. Which is your breast cancer awareness ribbon. And I have beige and white. So let's start off with the beige. Okay? I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this one. Or should I? Because of the sign. Nope, no sign. Because of the, the markings in here. Let's give it a whirl. Alright, let's just start off with the beige. I have to put my rubber bands on my arms or I'll lose them. Alright, let me cut this off. Put my gun over here. That didn't sound good, did it, my gun? My ribbon scissors. Yes, I have special scissors for ribbon cutting. And here they are. They're purple. So let me cut this off where they connect it. Mm-hmm. All right, turn it around. This one holds my spool. Alright, so let's make a, we don't want it too long, let's just do a 10 inch tail. Alright, so I'm going to scrunch it at the 10. So it's going to be 10 on each side. Yeah, that should be long enough. 
All right, let's just cut it. Let's do it this way this time. So we're going to cut a 10 inch tail for both sides. Okay. And now we're going to go in and make our bow. So we're just going to twist. Although it's one sided, remember, I always twist so it can fit in the middle. All right. And that's going to be like eight inches. And let's just make a six inch. Six inches. So the bow maker has inches on it. One, two, three, if you can see it. Any, I don't know if you can see it, but it has measurements on it. So you can't be fooled. There we go. All right, let's come closer. There we go. How about that? They all numbered. All right. You know, this little thing right here works when it wants to. This is my, it comes in and it goes out. But anyway, we're going to do six inches for the first loop. And we're going to put it in the center and make sure it's six inches. And we're going to give it a little twist. Same thing on the other side. Our first loop is six inches. So we're going to twist it and make it six. Let me see if that's going to be. Yeah, I think six is good. All right, that's it for that one. And then we're going to just cut this down the same inches, not the 10 but it's an eight inch in here. I like for my bow loops, tails to be uneven. It just does something for me. Everything's so neat and proper, not always good. For me, it gives it a little flair. All right, let's take our little pink tiger. We're gonna make this at five. So we're going to make this at nine inch tails, okay? So I'm guesstimating my nine, yes, but you can also use your bow maker, eight, and one over is nine. So that'll be one inch shorter than the ten. All right. And this is only one sided. The other side is plain, but you can see it, but it's bolder on the other side. So we're going to make this at five. Our tails at five. I, I'm sorry, loops at five. All right. So we're going to do five inches. Twist. And the reason we twist is so that the good side actually can show up. I twist everything, even though it's double sided. It's just a habit for a habit I have. So that's five. And then we're just going to bring that down a little bit. See, I'm spreading them out as I go along. I want this one to be in the middle. And we're going to do white. Yeah. And then we're going to do this one back on top again. Oh, no, we're going to do this one on top. So we're going to do white and then the breast cancer one on top. I just want to see. Oh, I got enough here. I don't have to open that one. So this one is going to be four. We, do, we are going to do another little tails on this one. And it, it, it's not perfect. It doesn't matter. You can have as many tails as you want, as many loops as you want. 
it really doesn't matter. All right, so this one is going to be at let's do this at four and a half. You can make it one inch apart a half inch apart, whatever you like. It doesn't matter. It's what you prefer. I would do it random, as you guys can see. I didn't plan this. So I just wanted you guys to see the bow as, as well, too. So. so one up, one down. That's how we're going to do it. All right. All right, let's do our breast cancer awareness ribbon. And I want you guys' opinion now when I post it so you can see which one you like the best. All right. I'm going to make this tail. If I did 10, let's make this 11 since this is the statement piece. And if you see, one side is upside down, right? Now, this is what I do. I cut me a piece, not through the ribbon. I cut a little piece. Uh oh, wrong. Purple. So when you have writing, now I'm going to take a piece out and face it the other way and make it the same length. I'm not cutting out my piece. All right. I'm going to put it in the middle that holds. That way you have all of your ribbon at the same, the writing right side up. Y'all got that? Uh, <laughs> what's up, Val? <laughs> yes. So your writing is right side up on both sides now. Okay, and I kind of like it just like that, but I am going to cut two more pieces so I can have them go up instead of all down, and just some small pieces, and I'll show you. And don't, when y'all see it finished with the bow, don't say the bow. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. You can say the bow. So I cut that in half. I didn't measure. Let me see. This is 10 inches. They're 10 inch, but I want them both to go the same way. So I'm going to put them in here. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. I want them to go up. I'm going to put it in here. I had to cut it. If I didn't, one would have been upside down. All right. I'm going to put it here. Now they're both the same way. And you guess you said, with them two little pieces, how are you going to cover those two pieces up? No worries. Let me get me a long zip tie and hold them two together. Uh oh, here's a long one. I think these are eight inches. Yep, eight inches. And I'm going to go under it all and bring it all together first. Under all the ribbon, all the loops. And right in the middle. And I'm going to bring it, to, bring it together. I got to flip it because I had the, the, the fat side up in the ceiling instead of the flat side. All right, guys, give me a sec. 
All right, now we're going to pull it all out. And see where it's crunched in the middle? I'm going to move that zip tie over. Right there. I'm going to squeeze it together. And I'm going to flip it on the back side and secure it. All right. Here we go. So now for that middle piece, these will go up, these will go down, and I'm going to make a loop, one loop, because I don't have a loop for breast cancer for the, for the symbol, right? Don't mind me, y'all. And it's going to be the same thing. This is going to be four because the last loop I made was four and a half, remember? So this is going to be four. Sometimes I say to myself, why did I do this? No, I'm only kidding. No, I'm not kidding. But bow making is kind of challenging for some people. It was for me definitely in the beginning. That's for certain, guys. All right. Let's move this on out the way. Now, I guess you're wondering how I'm going to put these two together. A zip tie. Right? Right there in the middle. And then I'm going to put a Chanel stem around all of it to hide that zip tie. And I need another long one. And I thought reef making was easy. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I know most of you, do you have to take off? Do you have to take a take it off before doing that last bow? I did because of the little short ends. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose my short ends. You don't have to. But I didn't want to lose my short ends that were in the middle of that uh, stick in the middle. If you follow what I'm saying. You don't have to, Val. All right, so let's do some tails. I hope that answered it. I know you'll call me if it didn't. All right, let's do some dovetails. Fold it in half. From that folded in to the opening and you have your dovetail. So we're going to do them all. Fold it in. And if it's facing away from me. Okay. And that's your dovetail. So all of them are going to be dovetailed. Mm, excuse me. Just make sure you stretch out the ribbon and you don't have it crunched up so it could be pretty even when you take it out after you cut your dovetails. You can also make them longer. I think I demonstrated that before. But the longer your V, 
you have to bring your scissors up higher as opposed to here you have to bring them up here okay all right I'm just going to sit it in the middle. All right. Got to make sure they're pretty even when you cut. So it, so it won't be a lopsided V. Sometimes it might be lopsided, y'all. It's all in... Okay, so and it's wired edge, always wired edge ribbon, y'all. Don't use anything else because it, you could shape it, bend it, uh -oh, mold it. Wired edge. Let's make sure I have all of my ends. Yep. Uh oh. There we go. It's a lot of ribbon, right? A lot of tails? Nah. It's a statement. All when you make bows you have to bow making is is a, a statement. You know, it's like the tree topper. When you do a tree topper, it, that's your statement for the whole tree. Right? Yeah. I make tree toppers too, guys. For your Christmas trees. Are you, are you doing Christmas trees this year? I donated all my Christmas stuff, y'all, this during the summer. All my Christmas stuff, crazy, right? I have a lot of tails, y'all. That's okay. Just making sure I have them all. Do you see any that's missing? Oh, there's one. Sometimes I also, oh, <laughs> uh. yeah, I made a large one last year, a couple large, large ones. Yep. So, now, once you get your bow together, trying to find out where I'm at. There we go. Now you want to do your... I think this one should be a little shorter, guys. Because those are the ones that's going upright. And I usually try to wait until I put it on. Alright. So now you want to fluff your bow. So you take it from the bottom and you open it up and you just open them up. I, I know I did that the last reef but go in the middle open it up and you see how it's staggered? Yep. Just open it up and then you know you can once you get actually get it on your reef you can do a lot of your placement of your loops all right because I do want 
let's go out this way. See how you can do what you can do with. I always say that what you can do with wired edge ribbon. So we're gonna put that tan one in the middle since it was the biggest one. And for now. I'm going to roll so I can get it out of the way. Wired edge ribbon, guys. Yep. I'm looking over here to see if I have a, a Chanel stem close. I have a red one and a yellow one. I need a pink or a tan one, right? I'm just rolling everything up out of the way. So when I put it, I can put it on. Mm -hmm, look, there's one that I didn't do. I always leave one. All right, let's get this. Uh, Cross and let's see what we got here. Mm. Like I said, I'm going to take a uh, pictures with both, and then I'm going to do a pose. So you guys can tell me which one you like. Let me fix this here. Let me go out. It looks it's gonna look so much better once it's situated in here, right? And the tails are hanging and where they're supposed to be. didn't look too good. It was that one, right? So I want you guys to let me know once I take the pictures, but that's that bow. That's what it's going to, it's almost looking like it's supposed to, but not a hundred percent. So you'll see it better after I take my sunny picture tomorrow. So here's my Chanel stem. And I'm just going to wrap it. And give it a twist. And put it in the holes. Make sure I have it the right way. One goes there. Oh, I did that one easy, y'all. No applause, no applause. Y'all know. Yes, you do. Got it in here the first time today, y'all. Nice. All right. So that's the bow. I don't want to mess up my petals. So. Here, here. These two up top have to be spread out. You know, in the final touches, 
I hear one of my pups snoring right now. Mm-hmm. White. That goes down. I'm going to cut some of these a little shorter for the finished product so the the breast cancer awareness ones can show. How about that? Just a little placement. And pictures will be posted. I will take pictures in the morning. It's going to be nice in the morning, so no problem. So I'll take a picture of this one and I'll take a picture of, you see I'm still messing. I'm going to make those little beige ones a little shorter. Minus, minus, minus. Alright. So I'll do this one and I'll do the sign. But the reef is, I, I love this two-tone. All right. So of course, if you have any, you know, questions, it's go. It's it, it, it really. I really am loving this one, y'all. I say that. I guess I y'all say she said that at the end of every one, but no. Listen, sometimes I say, listen, y'all, I gotta take this apart and add some more or do some more but uh these little beige ones is coming out of there shorter so you can see the other ribbon but there you are thank you and i'll do both pictures and i'm going to do a poll to see which one you like which ones you like the best the sign or the ribbon all right guys I thanks for joining and um if you're looking at a re replay hashtag replay please and I will see you guys uh Wednesday or Thursday. Oh nice, thanks Virginia. You like the ribbon, huh? Oh Virginia you like the bow. Okay. Alright, I'm just I'm gonna do both and I'll put the poll in the group. And you guys can let me know for sure. Alrighty. I will. That really makes a statement though. The breast cancer awareness ribbon. It really does, right? Yeah. So October is breast cancer month. Alright. So I will be talking to you guys soon. Have a great week. And Stay strong and behave, guys. Have a good night. Oh, the sign. Glad you caught it in time, Virginia. Here it is. Oh, Valerie. Here's the sign. But I'm going to take a picture of both. The sign says, fight, believe, faith, hope. All right? I can't do both. It will have been too much, too much of a contrast. But that's the sign. I'm going to take a picture of the sign and um, with it on the reef. And I'll take a picture of the bow on the reef. So I'll do both and I'll post them and I'll do a poll. And you guys let me know what you think. All right? All righty. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Enjoy.